Hey there and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the standing oblique stretch. This is a great, obviously, stretch for your obliques. So if you're going to be working your core one day, or you're going to be doing more of a, you know, functional type of workout where you're using your core, you're rotating, you're throwing, you're, you're pressing, you're, you're, you're doing like rotational punches and things like that, I highly recommend you guys stretch out the obliques after the workout. That way you can recover better. Um, but the reason I recommend stretching after is because you don't want to stretch when you're cold, or at least I don't recommend it because it increases the chance of you pulling a muscle. It's like trying to sprint when you didn't even warm up. You, yeah, I'm sure anyone over 30 knows what I'm talking about. So obviously you want to avoid that. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to be going over some of the common mistakes with demonstrations. But before we continue with more tips, here's a word from today's video sponsor me i'm today's video sponsor and if you'd like help losing fat or gaining muscle there are a few ways i can help you down below either set up a free consultation with us purchase through one of our free affiliate links or purchase one of our instant access affordable training programs can't wait to be of service to you now let's get back to the rest of the video now the key thing here is to make sure you're going literally straight to the side and stretching all the way down or as far as you can go. So try to really reach to go under the knee. So notice how I'm just going straight to the side. I'm not going like behind my body. My lower back's not bending forward or backwards. I'm going straight to the side. That's incredibly important because you're going to start feeling this in different areas if you move to different parts, obviously. So if you go further to the back, for example, you're going to feel a bigger stretch in the front of the core. So like more in the front instead of just the oblique. And if you go forward, you're going to feel this in your lower back more. What we want to do today is just stretch the obliques. So we're going just straight to the side. Now, you obviously want to alternate. So I would do like 10 seconds on one side, 10 seconds on the other side, and just keep doing that for around five minutes if you're warming up your obliques. Um, if not, then you can, you know, I mean, over time, as that starts getting easier, you're going to want to make sure that you increase the time that you do it at each time. You, you don't ever have to pass five minutes, in my opinion, but you can do like 30 seconds and 30 seconds and then, you know, keep switching that way and you'll be able to really stretch out your obliques. You're going to feel amazing. You're not going to feel tight when you twist to the side. Um, now this again, I would do after the workout, like I said, if you want to do more of a dynamic warm up before your workout, then I highly recommend you just do whatever exercise you're going to do and do that for, you know, 20 repetitions and very light. You shouldn't, you're not working out. You're, you're actually warming up. There's a difference. So don't kill yourself with your warm up. Uh, that's, that's for your workout. Also, make sure that you keep your neck straight as you're you're tilting. So don't like lean your neck over too much. So basically, you don't want like your head on your shoulder. If I had to show it from this angle, um, if you're a little bit over whatever, you're never gonna get it perfectly right every single time. Uh, but the main thing is that you know at least what to look for. So here's some mistakes though that you want to avoid. You don't want your head tilting so far, like I'm like I said before. It's gonna put a lot of stress on your neck. Also, you actually want to try, like actually lean over and try to stretch. Don't lean forward, like I said before, and also don't lean backwards. 